Hello everybody. So today we're going to be looking at some uh, Mutant Chronicles Warzone Resurrection. This is their Imperial Wolfbane, Wolfbane Commandos. Uh, I don't play Warzone Resurrection. Uh, I know the game is sci-fi, but I'm actually purchasing the miniatures to use them in fantasy because this particular squad comes with all swords. Uh, you get the miniatures in a blister with this here, which has some, I guess this is like the recommended assembly. It has like weapon options, but there aren't any weapons. At least there weren't any in the pack I got. All I got in mind was the swords, but I'm assuming they sell a version of this where they're armed with the, uh, the hand weapons. You get their stat card. So I have no idea whether these are good stats or not. This is uh, just for the game. And then, of course, we get the miniatures. Now, these are resin miniatures. So there are some brittle parts on them. Usually your weapons, your hilts, all of those areas you have to be very careful with or they will snap and break. They come assembled so that the arms are already attached to the weapons, which I like. And you just have to glue the shoulders onto the body. The problem is sometimes when you're trying to squeeze that that kind of piece in there, the, the the wrist snaps. So it snaps apart and then you have to glue that back, which this was actually one of the ones that snapped that I had to glue back. Uh, I mean, I, it wasn't that difficult. You just kind of put them on and hold them together. This one snapped because that's actually not even, it's a little misaligned, but that was the snap there. Again, excellent detail in these, you know, which is what you can get when you work with the resin. I just, if you're a new builder, you might not want to do these because you could get frustrated as things pop or snap. You do, I had to use accelerant. I mean, typically when I'm working with resin, I use accelerant, which is what I had to glue them to the base. They do not come with any bases. You get five. And then last but not least, this guy, I did some weapon swaps. Not because his weapon broke, he had some funky spear. But it was pointed down at the ground in a bad angle where I really couldn't get him on the base. Plus, I just didn't like it. So I just took a sword arm out my bit box and a, you know, a right arm carrying a banner. I kind of used those because they were the only arms that were really proportionate that I had. But, you know, plus it'll add to the fantasy scene. He has like a skull on his belt. So there's some skulls right there. So I think that'll work out pretty good. Uh... I think these are like $20 for a box of five. So they're more than like the uh, Puppet Wars that I did a video on earlier. But uh, it's almost the same material. And there you go. These are the Wolfsbane by uh, Mutant Chronicles Warzone.